Hi guys, Mike from the Stiz Media here with a demo for my Styles add-on for the Parallax Pro theme for the Genesis framework uh, from Studio Press. I have my demo install here already, and uh, I'm already logged in. So we're going to start from scratch, upload Styles add-on, activate, you get a little pop-up here that says you need to install the styles plugin this is the parent styles plugin the add-on makes it specific to parallax pro so you have full control uh, the styles parent plugin just uh, it's kinda like the engine behind it so here we go once um, styles is activated there's a customized theme button before you do that you're gonna wanna go down here to license put your license in save it activate it then you'll be sure to get any updates um, that come Otherwise, you can go here also, Appearance Customized, to the default customizer. Let it load up, and here we have a lot of options. Uh, so there's some global defaults, as with all the styles add-ons. These are background color, body, size, font, uh, links, buttons, this and that. Um, I'll show you something that's a little more obvious. Um, We'll go right. We'll do a do a blue, a blue look just for the sake of this demo. Site header blue. Um, you have navigation. Uh, specific control here. Over the menu items, you see that happening. Uh, we don't need to do that. Um, next thing you're going to want to do probably is the home widget areas. These in Parallax Pro are set up even and odd. The odd use the background image, which is already set up here in the customizer by default um, but we want to deal with color so we're going to go down to home widgets home even stick with the blue here <clears throat> now that changes all of the even ones and then uh, let's see text we want white let's do the widget titles tight white uh, as well Let's see, home even bu buttons, border, let's leave that, there's the color, and then, oh, the hover background, let's make that white, hover, background, home even buttons, hover, background, it's white, but then we'll need our home uh, hover text to be white as well. See. Oh no, sorry. We want it black so we can see it. Hover, text. Oh, I clicked off it on accident. There we go. Alright, so that's that. Save that. Um, let's go over here. We'll refresh. And our changes are live on the site here. That's it. Um, let's see. Footer here. Say we want to change, that's the footer widget, is red by default <clears throat> in this theme. But we want to make that a purple. There you go. But we want our link, say, uh, footer widgets. Here we go, link color. We want link to be yellow. Hover to be blue. Save that. There we go. Oh, the yellow kind of gets lost in there. Well, it's working though. Um, site footer all the way down here. We want this background. Let's do a darker blue. Okay, and that's the secondary menu right there. So if you want to control that, you go up to the navigation section and there's that. We can hover, make it white. Some changes take a second to kick in. Yep, there we go. On the in the customizer, they take some time. Let's save that while we're at it. Check our live site. Yep. Um, I don't know what else can we do. Um, oh yeah, there's the primary nav. We can change that. Uh, 
All right, so you can see the quick changes. Um, oh, this is the hover. Oh, you, you have control over that background too to match it if we wanted. Hover color on header right nav. Um, depends if we make that a dark. Oh, that's submenu. Whoops. Blue. Yes. Not dark enough. All right. Cool. Um, okay, I think that's really it. I mean, you have control over these titles here. These are entries. Um, you know, you can make that huge if you want. Text color. Um, oh, that's the title color. Whoops. Where are we? <clears throat> oh, that's content area. Background. Not sure if you really want to do that. Uh, breadcrumb control, if you haven't turned on. Um, let's see. What else? This is considered the body, so global defaults, if you wanted the body size to be smaller text that controls the body everywhere. Uh, that's really it. There's uh, built-in support for um, some plugins like eNews Extended, um, Gravity Forms. All, all my styles add-ons have support for these plugins since I use them all the time and I know Studio Press and Genesis users do. Um, let's see, the field I mean, we could do that, make the field background, but now when you type, you lose your color, so we have to change the text color to white. Oh no, that's label. Field text color, there it is. Okay, Mike. Uh, I mean, there's total control. We lost our button here since we made everything black, so you can change that to red. Change the hover, hover color, maybe a lighten up red. As you can see, total control and you can do everything really fast. Um, so that's really it. I'll save it just to show you one more time. Go to contact, there's our changes live on the site. Um, neat little trick if you just did what I did playing around, but now you want to start over and do something for real. You go to settings, styles, and then reset customizer settings. There's directions right here, type reset. You don't want to make this too easy, so you screw things up when you don't want to on accident. Uh, and now here we'll refresh, that's back to the normal color. So those changes are gone and we can start from scratch again. That's it, styles uh, add-on for Parallax Pro from this Diz Media. You can buy it at thisdizmedia.com and the link um, will be in the description of this video. Alright, thank you.